Ash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. I want to show you what Simba got today. So I was running some errands and I had to buy some gift boxes and I went to a local dollar store and they had this wand toy for cats. Do you see what it is? It's pom-poms. It's pom-poms on this wand toy. And when I saw it, I said, Simba's going to go crazy over it. And look, he's going crazy over it. It's 8.47 p.m. and it seems that the cat fight that I heard was Ditto and the black cat that's been hanging out by the automatic feeder. Now there's plenty of food to go around for like all these cats. There's plenty of food out there. They don't need to fight over it, but Ditto has just been like a troublemaker lately. I don't know what's going on with him. Hydrox is in a shelter. Um, I just checked uh, the live stream and he's happy in a shelter. Um, so... I guess Ditto and the other cat got in a fight. Now, when I opened the back door, the black cat went running and went running to the back of the yard and then under the fence. And Ditto, which we're looking at right now, uh, went running off the patio in the opposite direction. But Ditto came back, and uh, I don't know if Ditto wants more food because there are three plates of food out there as well as a bunch of dry food in the feeder. So I'm actually going to put some more food out there, but I don't want to encourage Ditto's bad behavior. Um, I'd rather drive him away if he's going to act like this 
um, then give him food after he acts like that. So um, maybe what I'll do is I'll put some food over by the driveway so it's kind of away from the feeder. Um, I don't mind the other black cat hanging out by the feeder because I think um, the black cat's been trying to like hunt from the feeder. When I check the security camera, it looks like the black cat is like trying to hunt something versus just eating dry food out of the feeder. And if there's any kind of mice or rodents around, I'd rather the black cat hunted them uh, than just ate the dry food anyway. So um, that's the situation. It's 7.45 a.m. Look at Stella. She's hanging out in the packing paper. So yesterday I was cleaning up some boxes from Amazon from some stuff I ordered for Christmas. And one of the boxes was just loaded with this packing paper. So I decided to give it to the cats because they usually like it. And here's Stella. She's laying in it. Now last night Stella slept in the penthouse. So when I was going to bed, Stella came into the bedroom and I thought she was going to sleep on the bed, but nope. She went to the top of the cat tower and then she jumped all the way onto the top of the armoire and went straight into her little penthouse. And at one point last night, I woke up and she was having some kind of a dream. What kind of dream were you having, Stella? Because she was like, she was almost like talking in her dream. It was, she wasn't snoring and she wasn't meowing. It was, it was almost like meowing, but in her sleep. 
if that makes any sense. Were you having nightmares, Stella? And then eventually she stopped because I was like, what's going on? But I just saw something. Let me show you what I just saw. Look at this. Somebody knock this off of the top of the end table. I wonder if they emptied it out also. Look at this. Somebody ate everything that was in here except for one piece. Who did this? Who did this, boo? Who knocked this down and ate everything? I think it was Stella because I've seen Stella go on top of the end table and actually use her paws to try to get into this bag. I've also seen Stella knock a container of crunchies off of the end table when she wanted crunchies. It was a little container of crunchies. It was like a little sugar bowl that's full of crunchies. And I watched Stella and I saw Stella knock it off. Yeah, Stella, I know it was you. I know it was you. Who else is it going to be? It is 1.10 p.m. right now, and today is the day that I want to change all the bedding, like I want to wash the sheets and everything, and this is what's going on. Three cats on the bed, Stella, Splash, and Simba. They have decided that they're going to lay on the bed so I can't put anything in the wash. And there's Boo, he likes to oversee everything from the cat tower. I'm here with Simba, and he's purring, and Boo just showed up. And it is mail time. We're going to open up some mail. There's the mail. Simba says, it's time to open up mail. Okay, Simba, move over. All right, Simba, we got some cards to open up. You want to help me open the cards? Okay. You want to open it? Okay, I'll open it. I'll open it. You can watch. This says, just for you at Christmas. And look at that. Look. There's a cat on top of a Christmas tree. Isn't that cute? Simba says it's very cute. Oh, thank you very much. This says, Elif, Grandma and Grandpa, Stella, Simba, and Splash Boo, Hydrox, and Ditto, wishing you only the happiest surprises at the holidays. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year, Evelyn Stafford. Thank you for all you do. Love watching the gang. Thank you so much, Evelyn, for this Amazon gift card and this awesome Christmas card. Uh, the gift card will definitely be put to good use, and we hope you're having a very happy holiday season. Thank you for watching the videos. And here's a pretty card. Look at this. It has like jewels on it. I don't know if you could see it. That's really nice. It says, Dear LF, warmest wishes for a happy holiday season. Merry Christmas. Best wishes, Karen Oppenberg. Thank you so much, Karen, for this really lovely Christmas card. We hope you're having a very happy holiday season. Here's another card. Boo's playing with something. I don't know what he's playing with. Boo, you got a big butt. Okay, let's open this. This says Christmas wishes for all of you. And look at the two little kittens under the tree. They look like Simba when he was a little kitten. That looks just like Simba. 
This says, this is for all of the Lucky Ferals and their loving human mama at Christmas time, thinking about the two of you together, hoping you have the very merriest one ever. I hope that all of you cool cats and your human mama will have a very Merry Christmas and a happy 2021. God bless you all and keep all of you safe and healthy. P.S. I love your YouTube channel and I adored my Christmas card from you. And this is from Susan Parker's vlogs and my cats, Lil, Bit, Tigger, Lucky, Kelly, Sheba, and Lily. To your cats, they said to tell you Meowy Christmas and Happy Mew Year. Thank you so much, Susan, for this super cute card. And thank you so much for watching the videos. And if you haven't checked out her channel yet, go to Susan Parker's vlogs on YouTube and definitely check it out and subscribe. And here's a card. It says, I forgot to add Hydrox and Ditto to the card. And Boo's afraid because I think we're getting a delivery right now. This is Happy Holidays. Isn't that cute? With the dog and the cat dressed up for Christmas. The cat's wearing a Santa hat and the dog is wearing some reindeer antlers. That's so cute. This says Stella Boo, Simba Splash, and all the Lucky Frills humans wishing you a wonderful holiday season and a happy, healthy new year. Um, yep, see? Okay, sorry about that. That was the UPS driver. This is Stella Boo, Simba Splash, and all the Lucky Furls humans wishing you a wonderful holiday season and a happy, healthy new year. From Andy. This says, thank you for my Christmas card, for putting my cats in the Thanksgiving video, for sharing your cats with us, and for proving that feral cats are worthy of love too. YouTube name, Andrea Walker. Thank you, Andrea, for this very festive card and for submitting your photos for the Thanksgiving video. And we hope you're having a very happy holiday season. Here's another card. And this says, Felix Navidad. Meowy Christmas to Stella Simba Boo, Splash, Hydrox Ditto, and all the family from Sharon Olson. Thank you so much, Sharon, for this cute card. Isn't that an adorable cat with the Santa hat on? This one says, Too Lucky from Delilah. It says, I hope these dollars can buy new treats for the cats. Isn't that nice? Some poinsettia flowers. A note to Lucky Ferals. Thank you so much for the donation. I'll definitely buy some treats for the cats. Hey Lucky Ferals, I'm nine years old and love your videos. I wanted to send a few dollars to try a new snack and also to treat the cats. I just wanted to say hi. To you, Stella, Splash, Simba, Boo, Hydrox, and Ditto. Quick question, how do you get the cats' names? Well, thank you so much, Delilah, for this gift. Uh, I will definitely buy some treats for the cats. And it's kind of a long story how I got the cats' names. And I keep meaning to do a video about it. Here's Stella. And to try to make the story as short as possible, none of the cats had names until I saw the kittens. And when I saw the kittens, meaning Splash and Simba, uh, then I knew they needed names and the cats needed names. And I didn't know if Splash and Simba were boys or girls, so I needed to find names that could be used for either boys or girls. Um, and Simba, looked like a little tiger kitten um, but I didn't want to call him tiger or tigger or anything like that and I felt like he had the personality of a Simba um, which is a name from the Lion King and even though he looked like a tiger and not a lion I thought it really fit with him because he was very brave and he liked to hunt and um, so uh, the name Simba stuck with him and Splash looked like he was splashed with paint. And I like that both of the names began with the letter S and the name Splash just fit him also. So that's how Splash and Simba got their names. They were the first ones to get their names. 
And then Stella got her name because her personality and the way she raised her kittens was very much like one of my family members named Stella. So she was named after a few people in my family, actually. And so that's where her name came from because she acts very much like uh, Stella uh, used to act. And um, she raised her kittens very much how Stella raised uh, her children. So that's how Stella got her name. And then Boo got his name because he was Stella's boo. You know, him and Stella are like boyfriend and girlfriend. So he was Stella's boo and he always used to come up to the back door and he would look all scared. His eyes would be really wide. And so it was always like someone said boo to him. So I thought boo was like a perfect name for him. Plus he's a black cat and black cats are associated with Halloween a lot of times and boo uh, fits well there. So boo was just overall uh, a good name for him. And then Hydrox, um, I think Hydrox was like the last one to get his name. And he was named Hydrox after the Hydrox cookie, uh, which is like an Oreo cookie. Um, and I don't think Hydrox has the personality of an Oreo cookie. And plus I knew another cat that was named Oreo. Um, so the name Hydrox fit with him really well. And he really, he really likes his name. So that's how he got his name. And then Ditto showed up and I thought Ditto was Hydrox for a while. Like I had no idea that there were other cats out there that looked so much like Hydrox. Ditto looked so much like Hydrox. And I thought about naming him Xerox for a while so it would be Hydrox and Xerox, but that didn't fit with him. He's not a Xerox, he is a Ditto. Ditto fits his personality much better. Um, so that's how Ditto got his name. That's how all the cats got their names. It's just a really short condensed version of it. And I still hope to make a video about that someday. But um, thanks so much for watching the videos. And um, I hope you have a very happy holiday season. And now we have a box to open. Let's see what's in here. What's in here, Stella? What do you think it is? Oh my, Stella. Look at this. Look at that, Stella. Oh my gosh. Look at all these pecans. Whoa. This is five pounds of natural pecan halves. They smell so good. This is from Natchitoches Pecans Incorporated, Little Eva Plantation. These are so aromatic. And this is Merry Christmas from Craig. Thank you so much, Craig, for these pecans. We love them. You've sent them to us in the past and we have really, really enjoyed them. I have shared them with grandma and grandpa and um, yeah, we've all really enjoyed these pecans. So thank you so much for thinking of us. And this is all about the Little Ava Pecan Company. And this tells you how to store them. They must be stored properly to preserve freshness. In shell or shelled pecans can be stored under refrigeration for about nine months or frozen at zero degrees for up to two years. Tight containers are necessary for storing pecans, otherwise they will absorb odors and flavors from other foods. Very good to know. And here's a box. Let's see what's in here. Are these pralines? These are packed really tight. Oh my gosh, look. Look at these. Wow, look at these prolines. Louisiana proline. These are so good. We are definitely going to enjoy these also. Thank you so much, Craig, for this lovely gift, for thinking of us. We hope you are doing well, and we hope you are having a very happy holiday season. And I will share these with Grandma Farrell, and maybe she can make a cooking video with some of them. Thank you so much. These are definitely a really nice treat. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.